Are we ready? In three, two, one, go! We are the Westminster Community Glass Choir, also known as WCGT Family. Um, my name is Maria. I'm Chinhui, also known as Zizi. I'm Michelle. I'm Kyle. I'm Tayo. I'm Chris. And I'm Fatima. Together we all run the choir. And we fly just like birds of a feather. We have two free courses throughout the year, one at Christmas, which includes a concert, and one in the summer, which we sing at the Southwest Fest in Pimlico. Unfortunately, this summer, due to COVID-19, we haven't been able to meet in the usual way that we would. So here we are on Zoom, and we want to share with you our journey um, and how it has been over the past few months. When we went into lockdown, we could have cancelled the summer course because we couldn't physically meet to rehearse together. But we really love spending time together as a family. And so we decided to meet online instead. So for the past nine weeks, we have been working really hard, rehearsing, singing and using British Sign Language to put on these songs for you. You look so much better when you smile. I'm going to be there. It has been very much fun sitting off the breakout room to learn our different parts. We kind of had to navigate our way and learn how this whole thing works. Um, but it's been different, sometimes challenging, but it's been fun all the same. Yeah, it's been a definite, it's been an adventure for us and we would love to share that with you. So in this video, you're going to see the two songs that we've learnt, plus we asked a few of the choir members what it's been like taking part in our virtual course. What's that? What am I looking for? Praise God and hallelujah, amen, yes. we're here! Yes. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Renetta. So, question number one. What's like being in the WCGC during lockdown? Uh, it's been a great experience. It's really nice to be able to connect to people. Mm. It's been really good. <laughs> when lockdown happened, you know, I couldn't go to church and I was stuck at home. I didn't know what to do. But my sister invited me to be involved in the WCGC. And I really enjoyed it. I really connected with people. Through, through Zoom, so wow, it was really good. Choir during lockdown has been really fun. Um, obviously, it's been nice to see different smiley faces, people that you know from before. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really fun and nice. It's been quite a uh, comforting and extroverting experience, to say the least. We've really enjoyed it. Being in WCG during lockdown has been challenging, uh, but fun. What makes you unique is your voice, you sounding like you. So just make sure that when you're singing your part, sing out and don't be scared. Don't hold back. Go for it. All right. I don't want to lie. The normal rehearsals are definitely better. I prefer them because you can hear everybody and you can hear the big sound that, um, that's coming from us. and You can hear everything evolving. It wasn't as sociable because particularly there's a lot of non-verbal sort of looking at and smiling at and laughing with other other people in the choir, particularly the altos because I'm a soprano and they're the opposite side. Obviously it's not completely the same in that we can't all talk over each other and have a laugh and have as many jokes because that's the technology for you. Um, but no, it's been really good. I think it's really cool that we're able to um, continue the session regardless of the challenges of this time and it's been quite it's been still fun you know seeing everyone and um, and virtually get to work you look so much better when you look so much better when you smile I'm gonna be there. 
um, but uh, we've connected up more with The Sopranos, I think, and it's um, ZZ has been a brilliant leader of the SOPs. But we're all still really enjoying it because everyone's still really friendly. We have a chit chat before, we have a chat afterwards. You don't just have to log off straight away. So that's been really nice. We're not in the same space, but we just enjoy what we have. <laughs> Give me those playful smiles at the end to the camera. What have been the highlights or your favourite song? Oh, my favourite song has been... Mm. I smile because it's quite uplifting on the song and yeah it just made me smile actually. Um, my highlight, my favourite song would have been I Smile. I've just always liked that song, always liked the harmonies and how uplifting it is and it's just a good one to dance to, to sort of turn up and do a little jig so that's quite fun. Don't smile, smile. I'm loving it Ade, looking good. So during the virtual, we have like a chat room um, where we go into um, to practice our session. I'm in alto, so therefore uh, there's an alto chat room, and we um, that's been my highlight. I love that the chat room because then we could go off as we want, you know, and nobody except the altos <laughs> would know all about it. Uh, coming together, all people of different backgrounds and careers and ages and. Um, all coming together and just enjoying being with people who you like and who allow you to be who you are has been great. So uh, we could really be ourselves and we could um, uh, help each other with the tuning of our voices. And of course, if we go off, hey, it stays right in there and we just correct it as we go along. Seeing everybody and um, seeing everybody in the comfort of the home, um, seeing you know some of us really struggling with the technology having a laugh when uh, microphones are just you know not being uh, muted and you could hear people um, in the background what was it like doing a virtual video as a soloist that was pretty embarrassing because when i heard back myself uh, i found i was out of tune out of pitch it was horrible so i did it like five or six times in a row and uh, and at the end uh, i was pretty happy with what i did doing the video was absolutely hilarious because I really felt exposed. I was going to our roof terrace. There was all the neighbors there who could actually see me and I was kind of miming to the video. So um, that was actually quite funny. For me, um, definitely took me out of my comfort zone. For me, standing in front of a camera and dancing about by myself <laughs> um, was, yeah, it was, it was fun, but it definitely did challenge me. But hopefully it came across in the video that I did enjoy it. The song I Smile means so much to me because um, it n reminds me that no matter what you're going through, if you just smile, just put on a smile and have a different outlook to, to your circumstances, to whatever you're going through, just put a smile on your face and it, it just make a world of difference. I Smile is really an interesting song because it really teaches us to, um, even if we go through tough situations, the Lord is there and the Lord is looking after us. I think I Smile is quite an optimistic song. The message behind I Smile for me um, is, well, yeah, smile. Um, even though it's difficult, even though it's hard, find even one small reason to smile when you get up in the morning, the fact that you got up, the fact that you had breakfast, the fact that you have your mobile phone and you can message someone. Um, yeah, so many, even one small thing, even if that's all you can find, just to think of that and smile. Well, the message behind I Smile is try to be positive with, with something that costs you nothing because smile is, smiling is just 
a movement of your facial muscles. The songs were really, really okay. encouraging for me, especially I Smile, because I'm stuck at home for over four months. What do I do? You know, I watch the news and it's just so negative, you know, about coronavirus and it makes me feel so depressed. But it really encouraging. Me. It's been really, really good. It's been fantastic. Wow. Uh, can you smile for me? If we go through hard times, if we wouldn't have the Lord there, then I don't know how we would go through them even. I don't know how we would manage within these times. And uh, yeah, so I think that's really the story behind I Smile, so don't give up. We can get become really bitter and we can become really frustrated. But I Smile just means I smile because I know the Lord got me one way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Give yourselves a hand, guys.
The normal quiet course is usually um, lots of laughter, hugs, and you know, and catching up with the other members, and um, we are be, we are able to hear each other um, in the same room, and we are able to um, um, pitch our voices together and and work on a particular piece um, together um, there and then, and we could. Um, Engage and 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 monitor ourselves um, with our voices and and so it's 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 really been different. Okay, um, so how we're going to set our session today is we're going to have a quick warm up with Michelle and Ava. Start shaking out if you want. Yay! And then we're going to have a vocal warm up with uh, ZZ. Everyone's all warmed up now. So let's, let's stay standing because we want to make sure that we're working on our diaphragm today. Hop, 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 hop. Okay, so one, two, three. Many men, many men, many men, 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 many men, many men, many men, 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 many men, many men, many men, 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 many men, many men, men, men. And then we're gonna have 15 minutes with Teo just going over our sign language, just put that in with our our motion and our singing. Then we're going to go out to our breakout rooms. To treat this rehearsal like a dress rehearsal, okay? Like we're actually doing a performance. So when you're in your breakout rooms, it's really important that you are starting to perform, that you're giving it that passion, that giving it that welly, <laughs> if you like. Hello, we're the BSL group. Hello. We're going to go into our main session where we're just going to go over all the lines and just tear everything up, just get everything together. Heal the land, heal the land. My prayer is to heal the land. My favorite um, song I would say is Heal the Land because we come humbly before God asking us to, asking Him during this pandemic to heal our land. For you. To heal the land, I guess, but yeah, with illnesses, but also metaphorically, because there is trouble, and one day we'll get better. Um, but I miss the response from people, so I hope that you're all still being touched by um, the songs that we've been singing. Well done, everybody! Give yourselves a clap! Father God, the need for you has been made right through these times of sickness, pain, disease, injustice, racism, hatred and murder across the world. You've given us an opportunity to open our eyes and turn to you, our saviour, our peace, our healer. We need your love, O oh Lord, so this is our heart's cry. Heal the land, heal the land, my prayer is to heal the land, heal the land, heal the land, my 
Okay, final. If you could describe being in WCGC with one word, what would it be? Susan. Um, joy. Anna. Oh, I was going to say a similar thing. I was going to say uplifting because whenever you're with the choir, you just feel quite uplifted by everyone's spirits because everyone's so happy and encouraging. Yeah. And I'm going to agree with both of them, nurturing, uplifting, joyful. Um, but I'm going to end it with a quote from one of my fellow sopranos that I really miss. I thought it might be on the end of I Smile. Um, and that's mash it all. Hi, I'm Sheila. If I was to choose one word to describe the choir, it would be uplifting because you get to um, make new friends and enjoy singing great songs together. Liberating. It was a struggle, but if I had to describe WCGC in one word, it would be lively. What comes to mind when I say that is during our weekly virtual choir rehearsals, at the very end when we're doing our final roundup, everybody in their homes, in front of their computer screens or in front of their phones, um, on mute, <laughs> but giving the performance of their lives. If I had to describe the choir in just one word, it would be delightful. To describe the choir in one word, I would use the word warm because everyone has been so warm and friendly. It's a really great atmosphere that's been created. And I would highly recommend anyone join. In one word, um, welcoming, that's easy. I think it's going to steal our joy during this time. There's all sorts of madness going on. WCCC family, we're carrying on. Hope you enjoyed our videos. And if you'd like to join us for our next course, we'd love to welcome you into our choir. We'll be meeting again in October for our Christmas course. We don't know yet if it's going to be in person or here on Zoom again. But it makes no difference in the fact that we'd love to join you and hopefully you'll be here with us next session. So if you're interested, you can email us the addresses below and we hope to see you in October. Bye.
Salmon, bring me a dream. Bah, 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 bah. Make him a cutie that I've ever seen. Bah, 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 bah. Give him your lips like roses and clover. And then I know my lonely nights are over. <laughs>